Right. Last night, we told you about the Topeka Plasma Center, which may be putting the nation's plasma supply at high risk of being contaminated with the AIDS virus. Our special investigation revealed allegations from current and ex-employees about the way Alpha allegedly allows high-risk donors to donate. 27's Linton Johnson continues his investigation tonight, joins us to show us how he went undercover to find out how true these allegations are. Lynn? Ron and Amy, frequently when you're in a situation where you're losing blood rapidly, you're going to be given some of this yellow stuff. It's plasma. It allows your blood to clot. So it's a perfect temporary replacement for blood until you get to the hospital. Obviously, you would want this to be as disease-free as possible. But what if we told you there's a local lab whose ex-current employees tell us it falsifies records? That way, donors who are at a high risk of having a disease can still donate. You told them that you had sex with other men? Yeah. And they still allowed you to donate? Yeah. Charles wants us to hide his identity because he says he doesn't want anyone to know he has HIV. He's one of many people who donate their plasma here at the Alpha Plasma Center. According to the FDA, merely telling the staff he had sex with another man makes Charles a high-risk donor, and he should be turned away. But numerous sources, many of whom are current or ex-Alpha employees, tell 27 News people like Charles are still allowed in. They say this man, Center Director Brian Webster, instructs him to. People were coming in drunk, and it wasn't being documented. People were having high blood pressures, and that wasn't being documented. And so by not documenting that, there's no proof it ever happened. Richard Festa says he was fired from Alpha because he threatened to tell the FDA. After his termination, he and others tipped the FDA off. Then, in March of 1994, the FDA was so concerned about this problem, it issued Alpha this warning letter. It cites the center for failure to assure that all donors are free from any diseases. Still, the FDA couldn't prove the center falsified records. Our sources told us not to be so sure. So we sent in two KSNT employees posing as new donors to find out. We told one of them, Ed, to say he had been in jail this year for five days. According to the FDA, he'd be at a high risk of having hepatitis B and shouldn't donate. Ed says he was given this first-time donor sheet to fill out. On it, he circled yes to the jail question and one other. He then gave this sheet to an Alpha employee who was to transfer his answers from this sheet to this donor file. Somehow, the answers were changed. I asked the, uh, why they checked no to the to my two questions, they said that, it, that being incarcerated for that, that short of length of time didn't, didn't have any concerns to them. We then gave Ed's sign-in sheet and chart to FESTA to look over. You can see here everything is checked no, which is mandatory. If any of these are yes, that's a problem, and then it's been initialed and signed. So he's gone from a non you know, acceptable donor to a perfectly acceptable donor in one fell swoop. We wanted to find out what Alpha Center director thought of this, so we took our cameras to the center and asked. And we have some documentation right here that you guys falsify rock, uh, records. And I would like you to respond to these allegations. Okay. You need to leave the center, sir. What do you say about these allegations, Brian? You need to leave the center. We are out of the center right now. We are out of the center. This we are out of the center. This is not the center. Okay. Thank you. Then we asked the center's physician. Her responsibility is to make sure all donors are okay to donate. Okay. This person's been in jail for five days. They circled yes. Okay. In jail. And but on the chart, it's marked no. Okay. Well, I think... And it's signed off. Isn't that a yeah. serious violation? I mean, if, the, if that is a violation, uh -huh. isn't it, wouldn't that be very serious? And why? Isn't that a serious mistake? Couldn't that affect somebody? Well, to be honest, I'm not really sure. Uh, I know that the people up there usually are very, very conscientious and very good. And we're pretty strict, you know. I mean, if you have just a minor burn or anything that could in any way endanger... Uh, the contents of your plasma. We're pretty strict about that. We called Alpha's headquarters repeatedly to get its side of the story. No one returned our calls. Ron and Amy, this really isn't a story about Alpha as it is so much about uh, procedures, procedures that might one day allow AIDS-infected blood into the system, a system that you and I might need. Very interesting story. Thanks, Linton.